This is, this is what we organise temporarily. This is just one of the dozens and dozens of refugee shelters being set up in Warsaw. A welcome camp bed after the bunkers and the bombs and the days of travel. Ukraine, I love you. I love you. They long to be home. But family after family tells of the trauma of escaping war. Yulia struggled to reach Kiev train station with her daughter, who has epilepsy, and her son, who's autistic. What can I say, she says. It was so hard trying to hold my children's hands in case they fell and carry the luggage. Then she reveals 11-year-old Nikita is recovering from an operation after being born with deformed feet. She got here guiding one of her children who's barely able to walk. Others at the shelter need medical help. A young girl is on a drip, dehydrated after the exhaustion of the journey to Poland, now made by a million and a half people. So the problem now, because so many refugees have come to the Polish capital, and because the authorities are so stretched, they're having to provide more permanent accommodation or bus people to other Polish cities. This refugee crisis is defined as an exodus of women and children. Across the city, there are makeshift nurseries to entertain the youngsters. And women, distraught, they've left husbands, brothers and fathers behind in Ukraine. Anna's left her husband in Kiev. She also has to contend with a mother-in-law in Russia who refuses to accept why she's fled to Poland. She said, oh, it's it just a um, little, not, not big, not big situation, it's just a little. He said, mom, we had no house. Russian is uh, destroy our house. Across Poland, thousands of people who needed no persuasion of the horrors of this war are taking in refugees. English teacher Victor Johnson and his wife offered a home to Marta and her grandchildren. Both of the children's parents are still in Ukraine. I didn't speak to Marta before she came here. She just turned up in the car. And so we met them with high fives and hugs, invited them in made them feel at home, uh, and that was the most important thing that they felt safe, secure. We asked Roman how he's settling in, all things considered. OK. OK. Nice. Just one example of the kindness of strangers in the midst of war. Lisa Holland, Sky News, Warsaw.